At the start of 2021, Florida's minimum wage will rise nine cents, but the pay hike isn't the only new law taking effect. Florida's employers will have to begin checking the immigration status of their new hires through the federal E-Verify system or by collecting I-9 forms starting January 1st. Supporters say it will ensure legal citizens are first in line to be hired. Critics disagree, saying immigration is a federal, not a state issue. Floridians shouldn't have their wages depressed by cheap illegal foreign labor. We all contribute to the economy and to the workforce and they provide for us, and we're forgetting that. New Year's Day will also see the penalties doubled for illegally passing a school bus with fines to be set at $200 or $400, depending on which side of the bus a driver passes. The new year also marks the end of Greyhound racing in Florida. It's required by a 2018 constitutional amendment that won 69% of the vote. The final Greyhound racing event will take place New Year's Eve at the Palm Beach Kennel Club at 11.59 p.m., just one minute before the ban goes into effect. The majority of Florida's racing greyhounds are being adopted out, and one rescue group says some of the dogs may still end up with a job. We are also um, getting a lot of the bigger, stronger, taller boys for our Hounds and Heroes program, service dogs, full service dogs, and donate them to veterans. The minimum wage increase starts with just nine cents this January 1st. It won't reach the full $15 until 2026. Amanda Dukes reporting West 2 News.